Who gets Bruiser? Well, surely, me. What? But you hate him. I don't hate him. The other day, you literally said, I hate that dog. How about we co-parent? Yeah, maybe that would work. Means we'll have to keep on seeing each other, though. I'd quite like to keep on seeing you. We'd probably argue again. I mean, yeah, but won't you miss that? Hans, all these arguments have turned me literally grey. I told you I always wanted to date a daddy. Don't. You know I hate that word. Daddy? Yes. Shit, Paul, I didn't mean that. Well, you said it. I meant, like, sexy daddy, not father daddy. Do you want to talk about father daddies? How about your dad? This has nothing to do with my dad. You're impossible to talk to. I've always been impossible to talk to. Oh, believe me, I know. Then why are we breaking up? We're breaking up because I come home every day and I feel like I live alone. I'm tired of asking for help from a man who doesn't want to help me. How can I be better for you? I want you to listen to me, Hans. Like, really listen and be honest. Open up. I'm listening. I am. I promise. Can we go somewhere more comfy? Better? A tiny bit. Okay, you want me to open up? You don't have to force it if... No, no, I want to. I am sad about my dad. I know. Don't be a knob. Fine. I'm not sorry. Thank you for pointing out something I already knew. Fucking hell, Paul. For a man that wants to talk more, you don't make it easy. Sorry, it just slipped out. It's hard to know how to be sad over a man who barely knows you. He doesn't barely know you. He refuses to know you. Is that meant to make me feel better? It can't be easy. Having a dad like him, especially one who's turning into a memory himself. Can I say something embarrassing? Always. The other day my dad called me the muscular nurse and I didn't correct him. Why not? Because he said it nicely. It felt like a compliment. And I don't get many of them from him, so, you know, it was nice. You miss him? I mean, yes, of course I miss him. Does it feel better? Admitting that? I refuse to answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> you feel better now? Of course I do. I mean, of course you do. Now we're finally talking on your terms. We must be good. Where did that come from? It just slipped out. Do you want to start a fight? This is why we can never talk. You're being a dick. I think you're being more of a dick than me. If you want me to be a dick, I'll take Bruiser and leave. Why? Are we like this? Like what? Weirdo kids. We aren't. No, we are. We're breaking up, Paul. You and me. Do you realize that? We're arguing about pointless shit. And then I'm going to leave this house. And then all of this is over? And we're arguing like kids. Is this really how we're going to end? During a fucking childish argument? I'm sorry. I, I guess I'm just wound up at the moment. I... I should have given you space to talk. Apology accepted. So, you're sad about your dad? I'm sad about my dad. Do you, do you want to lie down? I think... I'd just like a hug, actually. <coughs> when was the last time we had sex? After your niece's christening? I can't wait until she's 18 to tell her her christening was so boring we got that drunk we had sex for the last time. Charming. He tries his best, you know? What's he talking about? My dad. I never said he didn't. Yeah, but it's not his fault he was weird and awkward. Well, whose was it? His dad's. Is this just... A way for you to tell me it's not your fault that you're like this? Sort of. You're a man, Hans. 
We're given all the power and none of the intelligence to deal with it, so we have to put in the effort. Easy for you to say. I've put in the work. Maybe I wasn't ready until now. What makes you ready now? I'm about to become an orphan and lose the best person I know from my life. You couldn't have had your big realization about three years ago, could you? Am I too late? Maybe, maybe not. I guess I'm just trying to say that all of this hasn't been easy for me. All of what? Life, my sexuality. I came out late in life. I was 28 before that. All I knew about gay men was AIDS. But you've had 20 years since then. With you, it was all just so easy. So it was my fault? No, no, no. I mean, before you, all I knew was hate. Hate for gays. Hate for who I wanted to be. Hate for myself. And then you come along in your Rose West wig and suddenly everything is love. And I thought for a while that all that love meant, that the hate had gone away when really it was just buried deep down, hiding in my emotions, stopping me fully from being myself, because being with you was just easier. Oh, Hans. No, no, it's fine. This isn't an excuse. This is just me realizing I've got a long way to go. I... Not now, buddy. He needs to go out. It won't take long. Don't look at him like that. It's better out here than on the sofa. I mean, he did that as well. Yes, but not every day. We still have a wee stain right by the left arm. It's worth it for the cuddles, though. I told my dad we were breaking up the other day. Why did you do that? He knew my name that day. Miraculous. He didn't really know what to say. I think he panicked because I was crying. You were crying? Floods. I don't know how to say what I'm about to say. But I'm going to try, Paul. I'm going to try more. To be better at the things that make you feel like I love you. Because I do. I love you so much it scares me. Big man like you getting scared. We can't have that. Let's go to the garden for a bit. Yes. I'd, I'd like that. I don't think you mean that. I mean it at least 50%. Are we actually going to get through this and, and be happy? It'll be a bit shit first. Rome wasn't built in a day. <laughs> Are you Rome? I think we're Rome. But we'll work it out. We are good at that. And then in about four years we'll have a different argument and we'll be dramatic about it and then we'll work that out too. What do you think the next one's going to be about? Probably when your mum gets sick. Oh my god, that is going to be hell. Don't worry, we'll be able to talk about it. I sure hope so. Is that how it works? We just argue, make up, and then repeat until we die? Yeah, I think so. Isn't that really boring? Of course it is. But I can't think of anything else I'd rather be doing. Me neither. Then I guess it looks like we're a perfect match. Damn it. Damn it, indeed.